This painter was born in Paris in 1814 and was the son of a music publisher. He studied at the École de Beaux-Arts in Paris under Jules Coignet and Camille Roqueblanc and very quickly traveled to Auvergne, Normandy, and even Alsace to find inspiration in nature. At the age of 20, he exhibited for the first time at the Paris Salon. He truly excelled in landscape paintings, which would very quickly earn him a medal, and even the right to participate whenever and however he wanted. In 1836, the artist moved to Algiers, and in 1839, moved back to France after witnessing the taking of Constantine by the French. This event deeply marked the artist, who in the same year exhibited his first Orientalist painting at the Paris Salon, and thereafter consecrated almost the entirety of his work to Orientalism. In 1851, the artist would travel to Greece, Turkey, Syria, Palestine, and finally Egypt, which would have the greatest impact on him. So much so that in 1853, he would open his studio in Cairo. Very quickly, he would become a court painter, even earning the title of Bey from the Viceroy of Egypt, Ismail Pasha. In 1869, he was invited to join the delegation of Empress Eugénie for the inauguration of the Suez Canal. This would be his last trip to Egypt. Later, using the sketches and drawings that he had accumulated through a long career, he continued to paint Orientalist paintings from his Paris studio. This painting was presented in the 1877 Paris Salon. The color palette is most dramatic. The landscape is infused with a shimmering yellow-orange glow. Claude Monet and Eugène Boudin would admire his sensitivity to the properties of light and his way of translating it into painting. This painter is Charles Theodore Freire, also called Frère Bay. He is one of the first painters to fully devote himself to Orientalism. As Théophile Gautier said about Freire, he was one of those painters that was familiar with the countries of silver, of gold, and of sky. Blue. 